Yeah, just one I make here. I um, got a bit of a story here. This is an interesting story. This is uh, George Wegener from Rangeview Garage at Lansborough. Now, George has been working in this same workshop for many, many years. This is his little car, Georgie Wegener, little sprinter, and it's Chevy powered. And this particular car, he's, he's started drag racing in 1980, and he's been dragging that, and he's been, he's started drag racing in the late 60s, so he's just done a distributor and a carby for me. And the knowledge this man has, he'd have more knowledge than most in his big toe. Unbelievable with old school stuff, absolutely unbelievable. So I'm just doing a little story here, so it's George Wegener, little sprinter, and race headquarters. And he now, because he, George is 87 years of age now, and he's still as sharp as sharp, and he concentrates now just on carbies and distributors, and he rebuilds and modifies them, regraphs them and sets them all up for modern day fuels, which aren't obviously what they were back in the day. He's been a Chev, Chev man most of his life, I think, mainly concentrated on drag racing Chevs. He's had many national records in go-karting and mini sprint cars on the dirt and started drag racing. Drag racing his Monaro, he was telling me the other day in 1969, Bruce McPhee, the Bathurst winner, he come, he come in here uh, when George had the RACQ and he done some work on his Bathurst winning Monaro after it won Bathurst, I think, believe it or not, he was telling me. And um, yeah, that's what he's done. He's done, operated out of this shed for that many years. Like I said, national record holder, many different classes. And uh, he's just given everything a bit of a paint up. Like I said, he's still as sharp as sharp at 87 years of age. It's a real credit to the man, I think. And uh, nothing but good to deal with um, for me. And I, I, he set my carbine distributor up in my old 408 cube Cleveland, probably 13 to 14 years ago. And that thing, apart from screwing the odd set of plugs in, it has never missed a beat. So I've got him to set up the carburation and put a new electronic distributor in my, in my Ford F350 1978 model. So this is George's little workshop. And like I said, he's operated here for many years. A uh, real treasure of the lands were in the Sunshine Coast area, in my opinion. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Swanee Mick, he's all have a lovely day. He's in there working hard at it. Swanee Mick out.